All right, so calcium is vital for your immune system. It allows your white blood cells to get fuel. The ability of your white blood cells to multiply is dependent on calcium. So calcium is an essential signaling molecule in the communication process within your immune system and also in your cells in general. Your neutrophils, which make up the great majority of your white blood cells are also dependent on calcium. And uh, in Chinese medicine, gypsum has been used for hundreds of years, if not a few thousand years for fevers. It's anti-fever. And this is why I got great success with my kids giving them calcium when they were younger, if they got a fever, because calcium improves your immune system. Now, here's a question. What is the number one cause of a hypocalcemia? low calcium in the blood. It's low vitamin D. And we know how important vitamin D is for the immune system. And now you know another reason why, because it also helps absorb calcium. So vitamin D by itself is vital for your immune system. Vitamin D helps absorb calcium in your gut by a factor of 20 times. So it increases calcium from your intestine into the blood. Hypocalcemia, which is low calcium in the blood, is one common finding in viral infections, but there's quite a few other symptoms that you can get that aren't related to the immune system that I wanna cover now. Okay, and this other symptom, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> oh man, a chronic cough. That was my dry sense of humor. Wheezing or difficulty swallowing could also be low calcium in your blood. Other symptoms would be night cramps, like in your legs or your foot or your calf, a charley horse, restless leg syndrome could also be low calcium. Now, bruising, tetany, which is like twitching in your muscles, and even numbness around your lips or tongue or fingertips or toes could also be low calcium. But it's interesting that bruising could also be low calcium. I found that interesting because usually bruising is, a, is low vitamin K1, but it can also be low calcium. Also, insomnia could be a state of low calcium in your blood. If you have bad menstrual cramps, that could be low calcium. I mean, think about what the uterus is. It's a muscle. And the uterus is basically just contracting too much. So it's like a charley horse, but in the uterus. Now, if you don't have enough calcium in your blood, you can have brittle nails, dry skin, itching of your skin, puritis, and you can even have coarse hair which is where your hair becomes thickened and rough. And so the causes of hypocalcemia are not just not consuming enough calcium in the diet, low vitamin D, which is the number one, alkalosis. So you have your blood's too alkaline. I've done videos on that. You can search that out. Low magnesium, liver or kidney disease. All right, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before